Hello. In this session, we are going to talk about exchange rate and the balance of payments. Now, when we talk about the exchange rate here in the Maldivian context, I'm referring to the exchange rate of Maldivian rufia in terms of US dollars. In other words, the price of US dollars in the Maldivian foreign exchange market. I've tried to show you or give you a picture of how the inflows and outflows of US dollars happen in the Maldivian context. As we all know, the tourism sector is the major industry that earns foreign exchange or that earns US dollars into the economy. So when tourists visit, when tourists visit resorts and guest houses, US dollars flows into the economy when they spend their holidays in these resorts and guest houses. And when the tourism industry, the resorts and guest houses pay the government, uh, the, the TGST and the green tax and other forms of taxes, US dollars flows from the private sector, the resorts and guest houses to the government. And when the government spends through its budget to give salaries and um, other various infrastructure projects and subsidies, the government gets the rufia from MMA by converting the US dollars into more even rufia and the rufia is spent within the local economy. Now, since our economy is very much dependent on imports of goods for various consumptions in the economy, the private sector and the households, individuals, they import goods from the rest of the world. And when we import goods from the rest of the world, US dollar flows out of the economy. And in order to get that US dollars, the private sector firms and the households, by providing the rufia to the banks, they would get the US dollars in order to uh, import goods. It's not only the imports, um, the households or the individuals, when they travel to other countries for education, for health, for vacation, they spend the US dollars and US dollars flow out of the economy. And that US dollars would be provided by the MMA through the banks and to the private sector households and firms. When US dollars flow out of the economy, there would be an increased demand for US dollars. So in order to understand more on the, the value of US dollars in the Maldives foreign exchange market, we have to talk about the demand and supply of US dollars in the market. And as per the demand and supply of the market, it will determine the true market value or market rate of US dollars. But we all know that the exchange rate is fixed by the central bank or MMA at 15.42. And if the fixed exchange rate of 15.42 is below the market rate, for instance, the market rate could be 17 per rufia, per, per dollar, 17 rufia per dollar. And if that is the case, then there will be an excess demand, as you can see, at when the exchange rate is fixed at 15.42, and if that rate is below the actual market rate, the, the demand will be more than the supply, and there would be an excess demand, and some people might not be able to get hold of US dollars at this uh, fixed exchange rate of 15.42. For that reason, in some countries, they have the exchange rate floated or flexible to be determined by the market as per the demand and supply. So in, when we talk about the exchange rate, it, it can be either a fixed exchange rate 
like we have in the Maldives, or it can be a floating or flexible exchange rate where the the exchange rate is determined by the demand and supply of foreign currency in the market.